A tree lighting for the history books tonight in Highland Park. For generations, the so-called Big Pecan Tree, and if you live there, you know what I'm talking about, it was the site of the annual holiday event. But that tree was removed this fall, all because of safety concerns. CBS 11's Brooke Rogers live to tell us how the show is going to go on without it tonight. Brooke? Well, Doug, hundreds of people are expected to attend this annual tree lighting tonight. But tonight marks the christening of a new tree, and with it, new traditions. It was known as the Million Dollar Monarch, the gateway to Highland Park and a gathering place for a beloved tradition. I think it's part of the Dallas fabric. It's been happening for so many years. The community's used to it. It's one of the oldest tree lighting ceremonies in the state, from what I hear. But age took its toll on the big pecan tree. After years of fertilizing, cabling, and protecting, town leaders reluctantly said goodbye to the 150 year old tree in October. Well, I had to wipe a little tear away. But, uh, you know, everything's got to go <laughs> eventually. Larry Cox is the great great grandson of the Civil War veteran credited with saving the big pecan tree. All right, the okay. story goes that he plowed over it in a cornfield and he nurtured it back to health to save it. Now, a sister pecan tree, grafted from the original one, will step up as Highland Park's official Christmas tree. It's equal parts heartbreaking. And a happy ending. It's part of the same tree, the same family of trees, right? So we're all family. It's, it's kind of symbolic of a family tree, right? So that we can believe in the, 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 and have the joy and the values related to that. And the remnants of the old tree will be dried and then made into commemorative items. The festivities, as you can see, are already ramping up. We'll go until 8 p.m. The actual tree lighting will take place at 7. Live in Highland Park, Brooke Rogers, CBS 11 News.